It's preview night at Comic Con 2018. I'm here with Community Engagement Manager Yoko McCann of Funko. And she's going to present to us some, I guess, comic book based Funko Pops have been very popular this year, and also like um, some other other items in their line. Sure. So we had 72 exclusives for this year, but here are the few that we can run down um, that have been pretty popular. We've got Classic Ant Man. Okay. You know, the movie's just out now, but we yeah. kind of went back to his comic look from how he originally looked. So it's, it's that fun retro feel to him there. And then we went back and did Iron Man Mark I also for part of the Marvel 10 year uh, okay. in a celebration that they're doing. We had that Red Hood pop from DC that already sold out, yeah. but that was one people were excited about, so okay. I want to mention that we did finally make him. Um, a couple Disney pops that we have, too. Um, we did the 8-bit Ralph and Felix from Wreck-It Ralph, okay. and they turned out so fun. Um, and then if you've seen Incredibles 2, you know what's yeah. going on here. <laughs> it's one of the weirdest looking pops I've ever seen in my life, but yep. I love it. <laughs> um, Dorb's 2-pack with Captain America and a Red Skull. Always popular. Right? Yep. And then a couple of rock candy we did. We did Jessica Jones. And then we did from Saga, Alana. So oh, it was kind awesome. of fun that we're doing some more so stuff with right. Saga. We had a pop too. Uh, is he gone? He was cute. We mean, uh, oh, there he is. Okay. You gonna grab that? Oh, sure. <laughs> oh, that is, that is adorable. Lots in pajamas. Yep. So, so it's, it's fun to, to be able to do stuff with some, you know, not huge comic title, you know, not like right, outside right. of Marvel, DC, or Ruby, exactly. independent comics. Some more stuff. niche like yeah. areas and yeah. things like that. That's, 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 that's the great. kind of stuff I love when Funko's able to do, you yeah. know, to, to deliver awesome. products to fan bases that are starving for Exactly. For and this is also Flock too, yeah. so that makes it very even more special. Because yeah. I know the, the Flock yeah. ones, like you guys, um, years, uh, a couple years back, or you had like um, Skeletor's, um, his, his Panther. His Panther, yeah. Right, Panther. Yeah. It was, yeah. it was yeah. Flock too. Flock awesome. variants are always really fun. Cool. And I know that this year, um, some of your subscription boxes, um, you changed it to Amazon. Do you have any other new items in line, new things that are coming down the pipeline for, for yep. customers to look for? So Amazon has a Marvel Collector Core now, and that Deadpool okay. box is available now if you go on there. Okay. Um, with Prime shipping too, which is a nice deal. Um, <laughs> and then Star Wars is still with us right now on smugglersbounty.com. Okay. Uh, Hot Topic has Disney. Okay. And uh, that they're under the sea box is, is up for sale right now. It's really cool. Really cool little mermaid like movie moment okay. pop in that box. That's uh, that's amazing. Um, no news yet on DC, but that's kind of what things are looking like on the subscription box front for us. Okay, awesome. Yeah. And you guys have like always there's a myriad of licenses coming out. And um, I think before we were we were talking private, you you mentioned stuff like James Wan and Taika Waititi, and you guys are going into more like the behind the scenes people, yeah. not just the characters now. Yeah. So can you tell us about like, are we gonna start seeing J.J. Abrams with Spielberg, uh, Steven Spielberg pops? I hope so. If they want it, yeah. I bet we'll see it. Yeah. Okay. Awesome, awesome. Well, yeah. great. Thank you for your time, Yoko. Yeah, thanks for coming yep. by. I'm sure the fans are going to love this. Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.